Good morning or good evening or good afternoon, wherever good you may be and are. This is JP here with Brizzy and I've got a cat on my lap. I've got my coffee ready early morning here and I just turned off the heater because it's cold here in South Africa. And if I leave it on, it's going to make a lot of noise while I'm recording this video. So a few things that we just quickly want to cover and show you in the upcoming updates for both the Brizzy Free and Pro and somehow they are connected. And you can check out the blog on the website. We'll put a link in the description below. And there's quite a number of things over here, why the updates have been a little bit absent and uh, fear and Brizzy Cloud versus Brizzy WordPress and then what's next. And you can go through that. There's a lot of explanation. Dimitri really put a lot into this. So it's a good read. Go read it. And then we are interested this week, week 32. Phew, the year just flies by. What's next? Let me see. It takes us there. This week, week 32. Custom fonts. Dun, 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 dun. But much more than just the custom fonts, I would say it's now a font manager, which I really like. You know, this is just how these things go. And now I see another cat coming here from the left. This is what happens when you do it early morning when they all want their attention. Let's have a look then quickly at this. So what we're going to do, let me jump over here. We've got a free and then I've got a pro version for the new updates installed and you'd have access to them very soon. Um, over here, just show you plugins. Let's go to installed plugins so that you can have an idea. There is 1.0.82. This is the beta version. And then let's go and get a page. I think I already have a home page here and then into edit with Brizzy. So you can see those changes. And the first one we're going to look then at is the custom fonts. I'll bring in a block before we do that. Do you see what I see? Something that shouldn't be here. This is the free version. And this is one of the big changes that will be happening for people who use the free version. From now on, you will also have indication within the free version of pro features. Even though you cannot use it, they will be there. So if I click here on layouts, the layouts are going to pop up with a little pro symbol. This will give you an indication of what is pro and what is free features. I think it's very nice, you know, to see what is there and what is available. The same if you are working with blocks. If you go, for example, here to the blog, you're going to see the same. These are pro blocks. If you want them and you click on them, it says get Brizzy Pro, bro. What did we want to do here? We wanted to load a block. Let's load a block. Let's load this one over here. Now, before we continue, go to this styling option over here and you will see something is amiss. The area where we used to load fonts from Google, it's gone. It's now part of that font manager, like I refer to it. Let's click here on anything with the font services. Oh, let's go over here, click on T for typography, and it will look more or less the same, except you will see over here it says add new font. This is where the games begin. First change is from now on, you'll only get six default fonts. Gitlato, Ebizi, Montserrat, Noto Serif, Playfair Display, and Roboto. Roboto. And if you click on Add New Font, comes the new dialog box for you. Let's first look at this one that says Fonts. You see the six fonts over here? What do you see? You see the little trash can up here, which means you can now delete the fonts you don't want. Gone, baby, gone. Except Lato. Lato is the man to stay. Yes, he is not going away. That is how you're going to manage the fonts in terms of what you display within this dialog box over here and what you don't want to display. So how do you add new fonts? The good news, here's your Google Fonts integration. You click on it, you look for the font name, let's say Open Sans. You click on Open Sans and then you say continue. And now it will load it. So if you click again here, on your text, T Open Sans appears at the top. If you want to remove it, you go to Add New Font Fonts and you look for Open Sans over here. Be gone, and it is be gone. Nice and clean, so you can you can uh, manage your stuff over here in the most minimalistic way that makes you very happy. What else did you see there? You saw upload and you saw GoPro. So the upload is for custom fonts. That is something that you will have to understand that yes, you can upload custom fonts now, but only if you own Brizzy Pro within this manager over here. And we will look at that in a wee bit. Now let's do it now. 
I'm going to close here, jump over to the pro version. Let's also go to pages, all pages. What do I have here? I have quite a number. Edit with Brizzy. And then let's see what do we have in terms of, huh, this is a very empty pro homepage. All right, so let's go here, get our text, T. And I loaded this one, March script earlier. So let's go to add new font and you will see here it says upload. So let's look at the custom fonts and I really love the way the team had done this. You're going to see something because for me, who's very big on typefaces and font families, I was thinking, what am I going to do if I run into a font family that's got like three or four different types in there, right? So let me show you. Upload. Upload and then you can choose a font name. And now I forgot where did I put that font. Let me find it here in my explorer quickly. Uh, under download and font and it's called Laputa. Laputa. So this is what I'm going to call my font. And then it's going to ask you, what is it? And you've got all the variations over here. This is basically your weight settings from 100 to 900. You're going to put it in the language we know within Brizzy. And if it's just a standard font, you're going to choose the normal one. Over here, you have the different formats. I'm going to use a TTF file, which is going to be the most standard one that you will be using. And then let's click upload and you find that La Puta. Click yes, add font. And it's going to add it. But what I like now that if La Puta had many variants and many fonts, you can say add new font variation here and it will start grouping them together. So you will have normal, thin, light, all of that together. And you can say continue and then La Puta will be La Puta forever. Let's take a nice one, this beautiful world, and let's put that on La Puta. Ooh, okay. La Puta is very kitty, so of course it's not going to look good for this kind of fancy website, but there you go, brought in my own custom font. And the same thing again that we did earlier. If you, after a while, believe your La Puta days are over, you go to fonts and you look for La Puta and then you say, again, be gone. And La Puta has gone back to the default. That is great. That is custom fonts and you will find the font manager in both free and pro and then upload your custom fonts in the pro version. Then there's a few other things like optimizations and then improved style user interface. We'll have a quick look at that. And then the new code that's coming in is preparing the way for contact form version 2 as well as import and export. What is this? Before we go to the other features that will also be upcoming soon, and there are examples here, let me just have and show you a little bit then of that. If I go here, we have a background. So what this means, if I click here on colors, you will see overlay, the drop down for solid and gradient appears here now, and gradient looks like that. It's now much wider. It used to be smaller here, the two together with each other over there. And with border, you also have the options for the borders dropping down here. Over here, you can unlink the sides, different values for the sides. Same for shadow, you have inset and outline. So when it's out, go and test the beta. You can play around with those to see which one do you like. Let's increase it a little bit over here. Let's see what it does. Give it a gray. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. What is this? Oh, there we go. That was inset and the outline. Good. So that is... Those are the features that have been made to the styling UI. Upcoming then is, um, I have a broken link here, my, maybe my internet form versus two, and we're going to have global pop-ups. So if you have a look here, how it will look in the future, you will have down here what you are used to, go to global pop-ups, and you will have a big dialog box over here, landing O2 on page exit intent, <gasps> on scroll, <gasps> Is this what you've been asking for or even more? And then if you look here, okay, you know this is triggers. And then also over here, conditions. And that brings us very soon to conditions. Before that, very big question. People, where is the new kit? Both light versions and dark versions. Go have a look at it. It's like somebody who tells you Christmas is coming and then they show you the menu already today. And all you can do is sit and look at the pretty pictures. That's what you can do at the moment and look at all these blocks and i'm saying i have to say guys super impressed with what's coming this is art this is top of the range blocks that you would want to see in any page builder so good thing um two to three weeks and there's a cat that just sneezed on me 
And then the last one, block conditions. I think it's the last one I'm talking about. Block conditions, also something a lot of us have been waiting for. And the team has been really working hard. And if you want to know the reason why these updates are rolling out now, it's been a little bit quiet in the last few months. Check out the Facebook community because we're having a poll there. Next week, there's a webinar that will be upcoming and we'll be asking these questions. So if you wanted some interesting answers or just hear Dimitri and hear us talk a little bit about the, well, the production and the development, then join the webinar next week. Just check out on the Facebook community. And then last word, import export will let us sync blocks and pages into the cloud and access them in any WP admin. Very interested in this one. Very interested. And that's it. So the beta updates will be available by the time you see this video, so you can play around with them. I think the biggest part of this beta update, is it beta or beta? I guess it depends on how you feel at that moment. At this moment, I'm a beta man. And at this moment, the main feature for this update is custom fonts and then these others still coming. And if you want to know about more elements, about fixes and stuff like that, then definitely join the webinar next week. This is Jabe here with Brizzy.